Right, question 10. Now, it's told us what substitution to use. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to write down a couple of different variations of this. So I could have x minus 1 equals u squared. And I could also have um, root x minus 1 equals u. Now, they're all going to be useful. Let's quickly work with this over here. So if we know this, therefore, we know that dx over du is equal to 2u, right? And then, so dx must equal, so dx must equal 2u du, okay? So all of this is going to be useful, and now we're just going to basically kind of go and plug it in. First of all, let's just think about, let's think about these. So when the x value is 10, then the easiest thing to do is just to come over here. All right, so 10 take away 1 is 9, root is 3. So that tells us that, that number there is 3. Right, so just like recalculating our limits. Do the same with 5. So 5 take away 1 is 4, root is 2. So that value there has got to be 2. Right, now then, let's start thinking about how on earth we're going to get over here. All right, so let's just use these substitutions. All right, so I'm going to need a little bit more space, so we're going to have to do it down here. So what have we got? So we know we've got that 3 in our 2. And then let's just write out what we've got. We've got 3. Now, instead of writing dx, remember, we're going to write d, uh, 2u du, du, there we are, and then all of that is over, we've got x minus 1, well x minus 1 is u squared, and then we're going to multiply this by 3 plus 2 root x minus 1, root x minus 1 is u. And there we go. Now let's just tidy this up. So we've got a u on the top, so it's all multiplied. So therefore, we can do a little bit of cancelling down. Whoops. And then let's see where we get to now. So we've got 3 and 2. And then it'll be 3 times 2. So that's 6. Remember, it's du now. And then we've got u times 3 plus. There we go u and 3 plus 2u, all right? Look, that's what we were trying to get to up there, all right? So the key is just really is like writing down all the possible variations, thinking about what dx is equal to, and then just subbing everything in, all right? Now, let's have a look at part b. Now, part b is the key is recognising the first step, and then from there, it's like it should be okay. It's knowing what to do first, right? So how are you going to get started with this? And the key is partial fractions, all right? You need to think about a different way, because at the moment, we cannot integrate that, okay? It's, it's very awkward. But if we express it a different way, and there's a key old maths kind of technique, is to think, well, okay, well, I can't do this. Is there a different way that I can write it? So if you use partial fractions, I'm going to jump a little step here because, you know, you, you might be OK with partial fractions. But I'm going to I'm just going to I'm going to give you this part of the answer. So um, 4 over 3 plus 2u, du. OK, so I've jumped a little bit there. If you're not sure about partial fractions, then just go and practice that part. Right. OK, so now I need to integrate this. Now, this is in a much nicer form. To integrate right if I integrate this it's just going to be you should recognize this it's just going to be ln u multiplied by the two and here you should recognize if I differentiate this it's two so you should see that this is going to be two and then ln three plus two u okay it's just getting practice and confidence at working with those now remember we've got limits of three and two. So just take care from here, but do each step in turn. Don't try and like rush it. 
So 2 ln 3, I'm just substituting in. Take away 2, now if I substitute 3 into here, so that's 6 plus 3, that's going to be 9. So ln 9. And then we're taking away, now I always do it like this, kind of put an extra little step in. So I'm going to put 2 ln 2, right? Because it's really easy to make a mistake with the sign over here. And then we're taking away this part just here. So 2 ln, if I put 2 into here, it's going to be 7. So then when I look at this, about the bracket there, 2 ln 9, take away 2 ln 2, and then that becomes a plus, so 2 ln 7. Now just using my basic laws of, of logs, so I've got the pluses, so 3 and 7, so they get multiplied together. So we're going to have, and they're all, they're all going to be multiplied by 2, so that's just a common factor. Um, so it's going to be 21, and then I've got minuses here, so they're going to go on the bottom, aren't they? So they're going to be 18. If I cancel this down, that's just going to give me 7 over 6. And it's not quite in the right form. I want to try and go a little bit further, because if you look at it, it wanted us to get it like that. All right. So... Now again, just using another log law, is that seven over oh, seven over six squared? Okay, goes like that. So then that's going to give me ln over well seven squared is forty nine over thirty six. So a is forty nine over thirty six.